This happens to be one of my favourite lamps called the Gato Lamp. It's designed by Achille Castiglioni in 1962 for Floss. Hello, this is Thomas of iCollect. Let's meet this avid collector of designer lamps of all shapes and sizes, and he also puts them to good use at home. Hi, I'm Joseph Lim, and I collect designer lamps. I'm fascinated with designer lamps because it all began with my career editing two interior design magazines, uh, Home Concepts and Singapore Tatler Homes. I've been to the Milan Furniture Fair and observed how these lamps were decorated in the halls. Particularly, I like designer lamps based on their posthumous works from designers such as Vico Magistretti, Achille Castiglioni, amongst others. Their works are enduring, even to today they are being produced. So these lamp designs are pretty interesting. They are whimsical and very functional and they have so much character. Like for this lamp, the Lampadina, designed by Achille Castiglioni, there's a frosted portion which reflects the tungsten light as you can see. Another designer called Vico Magistretti. Now, this lamp is called the Eclipse. It can be swiveled to hide the light source or opened to reveal the light source so you can adjust the lighting intensity. This is a Kubo Luce. It's a mirror lamp, uh, quite interesting, a reflective lid that you can close to switch off and open to activate. Uh, this is a very enduring design and it's still being produced. Among all these lamps, my favourite is the Tikal lamp designed by Vico Magistretti for Fontana Arte in 2004. I found it at a local store in Singapore and I couldn't believe it that they still had it. It was the last piece and they don't manufacture this anymore. So when I had it in my hands, it really appealed to me and I wanted it very much. And this is why I still continue pursuing the hobby. These are modern lamps which are part of my collection. On my left is a very iconic lamp from the 80s. It's by an architect called Mario Bota who designed this lamp called Shogun, which as you can see, looks like a samurai warrior, which has a tiltable shape, which you can adjust the light according to your need. And moving on to the next lamp is the tip of the tongue, designed by separate based designer Michael Anastasiades. You can literally understand why it's called tip of the tongue because the opaline shade sits at the edge of the brass base. Fairly unique and very beautiful shape. Moving on, I have Samuel Wilkinson, which is a British-based designer, and he designed this lamp for the coat. It uses a proven bulb. As you can see, it's like a ribbon illuminated and when it's turned on. It appealed to me because it has this uh, asymmetrical design that is almost like falling off the edge of the table. One of my favorites uh, for modern lights is actually the Guaylo lamp made by Paraclina, which is a Spanish-based lighting brand. Uh, why is it called Guaylo? As you can see, Guaylo means ghost in Cantonese and the lead source only illuminates the outer edge of this acrylic bent shape which apparently I was told that every piece is unique. There is a numbered plate here which says that this is the series of 110 of which I purchased the 77th piece. So when it comes to lighting, uh, these days the trend is to collect portables and Portables are perfect when you need to move light around your home without any proper plugged-in power source. There is a LED battery at the base of this lamp. And this lamp is worked by one of my favourite designers from uh, Denmark called Werner Penton. Uh, he designed the flower pot lamp for end tradition. It's fairly easy to use, you charge it and you tap the head to increase the intensity of the light, as you can see. Another of Werner's Benton's lamp is the Verpan lamp, which she designed. Likewise, it functions fairly the same. You can adjust the intensity by tapping the button. Very pretty, very beautiful form. Umbrella form, mushroom form, as what you might call it. And the next lamp, um, I actually won this in a competition. It's by Inga Sempe, a French designer, and the lamp is called Mousqueton, which is the name of a mushroom, as you can see. It's designed for Hay, which is a Danish brand, to change the light intensity to a button below the shade. And you can carry it around, and it's simply adorable. 
This happens to be one of my favourite lamps called the Gato Lamp. It's designed by Achille Castiglioni in 1962 for floss. Interesting part about this lamp is how it's made. It's made from spun polymer fibres which are heated and um, they are actually wrapped around a steel wire frame that looks like a balloon. Believe it or not, this innovative process was developed in the 60s and is still being used today. So to achieve that process during that era is clearly quite a feat. As with any collection, there will obviously be pricey ones and one of them that is part of my lighting collection is the Franco Albini light which he designed in 1969 for Nemo lighting. It's still produced today. It is an expensive object but I just love the shape. I love the chrome arch that holds the opaline shade. Um, and it's so well made, but the only problem is that I hate polishing the chrome base from time to time. Part of my collection includes a very old lamp design in 1927, and it's designed by Irish architect Eileen Gray for German brand light lighting company called Classicon. It's called the Tube Light. I love it because it looks like a lightsaber. Today, the version that I have is a LED source. Previously, it was a fluorescent source, so it's more energy efficient. It's held by a chrome base. You can see that the design is linear. You can pretty much put it in a corner and enjoy its simplicity and its minimalist design. Show us your like and subscribe. You can support iCollect for as little as $2 through a super thanks by clicking the thanks button under our video. Now this will help us to bring you interesting collections and creations like this. And I'll see you in the next episode.